struggle to tell when your curly or wavy hair needs a cut? Well, this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Today's video, as I've said, is about how to tell when your hair needs a cut. Back when I used to straighten and dye my hair um, and just wasn't on a healthy curl journey, I just used to get my hair cut at fairly regular intervals. For me, it was about every three months. Um, some people might get their hair trimmed every six weeks. But one thing I did notice once I started my healthy curly journey, especially once I started growing out my blonde hair dye, is that I didn't necessarily need a trim that often. And one thing I noticed after growing out my blonde hair dye is that I no longer ever got split ends. Um, I didn't actually realize that was a thing. I didn't know that you could have hair that didn't get split ends and break at the ends, which shows how damaged my hair was. But now I was in this situation where I wasn't getting any split ends and my, my ends still generally seem to be quite healthy. So it can be a little bit difficult to tell like when does my hair need a trim? So I thought we could talk about that today and I can tell you some of the things that I now know are flags for me uh, that tell me when my hair needs a trim. Obviously I've mentioned split ends. Um, some people even on their health, healthy curl journey are still gonna get split ends. And that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. Split ends happen when the ends of your hair are more damaged. So if you're perhaps still growing out damaged hair, damaged from straightening or bleaching, Perhaps you're still coloring your hair, so um, your hair's doing fine, but there is still that damage at the ends. The ends obviously have been on your head the longest, so they've experienced the most amount of damage, whether that's from straightening, bleach, brushing, or just the elements. So the ends are bound to be um, less healthy than the hair that's up here that's newer. So you might find that you do get split ends, and obviously a split end is straight away a red flag that your hair needs a trim. Despite what some videos or products might tell you, there is no such thing as healing a split end or fixing a split end. You can seal it down with products and sort of try and stop it from getting worse, but the only way you can get rid of a split end is to cut it. So if you have split ends, then cut them before they split even further and then cause more damage to the rest of your hair. Another thing that you might notice, and this is something I notice now, is that when my ends really need a trim, I get little fairy knots. So what I mean by that is a single strand knot. So you have one single hair that somehow tied itself in a knot towards the end of the hair. So you have this tight knot and usually the end sticks out from the knot at an angle. And um, that's what happens to me when my hair really needs cutting. So look out for those. You'll feel them as you're running your hands for your, through your hair. You'll feel this sort of like, oh, what's that? And it's a single strand knot. Um, so that is a sure sign that your hair needs a trim. You can also just individually cut off those single strand knots in between. If you have an appointment at a hairdresser and you start noticing single strand knots, you can just cut them just above the knot and it's at least gonna deal with that problem in the meantime. Another way you might know that your hair needs cutting is how it feels at the ends. If the ends of your hair start to feel really quite rough and dry and just, sometimes they can feel not like real hair if they really, really need cutting. If it just starts to feel horrible, then chances are those ends need a trim. Another way you can tell that your ends need a trim is by looking at them. Yep, just using your eyes. A good, healthy end. So this is my hair. I just cut it myself today. I will link up here. <laughs> I will link up here my video on how I cut my own hair, but excuse me, creaky stool, but you can see that the ends of each curl are looking nice and thick and chunky and healthy. There is no sort of, see, look at this guy. Lovely and thick and chunky right the way to the end. If your hair is looking really like thicker at the top, but then as it gets to the bottom, it tapers down to sort of thin, straggly looking ends. Again, that probably means that they need a trim. But now I'm gonna tell you how I knew my hair really needed a trim today. So what happens to my hair is the layers, these higher layers here, that is the part of my hair, here and here especially, that grows the fastest. Also, it's amongst my loosest curl pattern sections. So my curls are tighter underneath. Um, as you can see, I've got these ringlets underneath. And whilst today you can see sort of ringlets on the top layers, when that hair is longer, it stops doing that and it's it's a lot flatter and straighter and then I just get a curl at the end. So what happens to me is very quickly these top layers grow out and lose shape and I get very flat sections at the corners of my head and right at the back. It, all, it just goes really flat and nothing I do can really 
get it to curl and get it to hold the curl. The other thing that happens is it, my hair almost acts as if it's been over moisturized or over conditioned and I'll do my hair and it looks okay when I've just done it but then after a few hours or the next day it's just lost its curl and the curl's just kind of gone especially in the top layers. So what I tend to do in that situation is I'll try adding some protein first because it's a very similar sort of symptom to when my hair needs some protein added and if you want to know a bit more about how to know when your hair needs protein I'll link a video up here for you on that but it, it's a similar symptom for me when my hair needs cut and when it needs a boost of protein so once I've tried adding the protein and if it's still happening then I think right okay the next step for me is that it needs a trim so I've known for a couple of weeks that my hair really really needed a trim um, and I actually took off about this much I took a fair chunk off the length but I'm so glad I did because for my hair, for it to curl at its full potential, the layers need to be that bit shorter on the top for them to be happy. Um, but then last time when I cut my hair myself, I cut those layers a bit shorter, but I was desperately trying to hang on to my length and I ended up with it looking a bit like a mullet, <laughs> which is not what I was going for. So this time I thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna give it a good trim on the bottom. It's still long, I'm so happy with this length. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, but I needed, it really did need that cut and it has sprung up and it's just looking so much better. It feels like I've got my hair back. It's looking shinier and healthier and bouncier. So if you have a similar curl pattern to me where you've got sections of your hair where the curl pattern's a lot looser, you might find a similar thing that beyond a certain length, they're just not gonna curl the same. Even if the hair is healthy, like even if it's trimmed, my layers just need to be that bit shorter for me to get the look that I'm going for. There's nothing wrong with them being more stretched out. If And if that's the look you're going for, that's absolutely fine. But for me, this is how I preferred it. So if you're noticing any of those things in your hair and it's been a while since you've had a trim, then maybe it's time to book in, or maybe it's even time to try it yourself. The most important things, if you are gonna attempt to cut your own hair, is to get hairdressing scissors, hairdressing shears. You can get them on Amazon. I'll link the ones I've got in the description. They were less than 10 pounds, and they're absolutely brilliant. I've had them for a few years now, and they're still super sharp, in fact, super sharp. I actually cut myself <laughs> while using them today. And my other biggest tip for cutting your own hair is are on the side of caution, take off small amounts because you can always go back and take off more, but you cannot stick it back on once you've cut it. And that's what I did wrong last time. I just went a bit too crazy. I was thinking I've been doing this for ages, I'll be fine. And I didn't really pay enough attention. Whereas this time I was a lot more careful and yeah, so delighted. So delighted with the result. So just a short video today because I uh, had haircuts on the mind and I wanted to share that with you. I hope that was helpful. And let me know if there are any other questions, any other videos you would like me to make, anything you want to see from me. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I just wanted to add this in here at the end because you have no idea how much footage like this I cut out of every video. I'm just sitting there looking stupid, trying to think of what to say next.